Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers and pull behinds. Um, today we're actually going to be doing a tour of the 2021 Lance 850. This one's a very versatile uh, truck camper. It fits your 250, 350, and 450 series short and long beds, um, single rear wheel or dual rear wheel. If you have a dually, what you would want to do is get the uh, swing out brackets added. This one's going in a single rear, single rear wheel, so uh, she doesn't need the swing outs. But anyways, this one weighs about 2,866 pounds dry and about 30, uh, 3,155 pounds wet. We'll just kind of take a walk around now. Like I said, uh, you to get a dually underneath, you would need swing out brackets um, added to your electric jacks here. So you can get the fat butts underneath there. But we got all electric jacks around all four corners. We got two five gallon uh, propane tanks. Some people call them 20 pounds. But uh, anyways, then moving on, uh, your tanks are 30 gallons fresh water, 20 gallons gray water, and 18 uh, black water. Right here's where you fill the fresh water tank. It's gravity fed. You just throw your garden hose in there and wait till it spews out the top to know when she's full. Or you can check the monitor inside, that works too. 30 amp plug in. All of your campground connections are actually gonna be on the driver's side. So you have your 30 amp plug. You've got your city water connection. You've got your park and satellite connections. And your black water flush system and then also underneath you can see all your mounting points right here you got one there one over there and same in the same on the other side all right next to your 30 amp plug you have your water heater access uh, this camper has a six gallon hot water heater there you go okay moving on out outdoor shower uh, some people get curtains and put them up out here some people don't Whatever your style is, we're not here to judge. You got your hot, cold water, and external shower head. All right, you've got your little bit of outdoor storage here. Uh, you can use it for whatever you want, shoes, flip-flops, towels, uh, propane bottles uh, for your external grill, whatever. Whatever you want to throw in there, you can do so. It is insulated. You can see here, we got the insulated door. Uh, some people even put their stinky slinky in there so right here lance's you know uh I, I don't really know what we were doing with this here but lance has this designated port for a stinky slinky and you can't get the good ones in there so a lot of people move them up into a little container and throw them in here you could use that for collapsible fishing rods uh bio pouches whatever i, I don't really know get creative Moving on to the back, you can see up top, we got our load rack system. We'll go up there here in a second. I'll stay down here. All right, so we got our manual uh, awning on the rear, covers the door. If it's raining outside, that's nice. You got your external backup camera, docking lights, patio lights. You got one there, one on the driver's side, and one on the passenger side, campground side. All right, these are four season rated. We have the four season package added. What that does is it gives you the insulated door hatches, the insulation covers for all of your like skylights, stuff like that. Heated basement, so your heated basement, as long as you got that furnace going, you're gonna be heating the tanks, the water lines, and also acts to heat the floor. All right, so your drop station is over here to the door one flaw here you open this door and boom hits that door so make sure that you have that door or this door shut before opening that door and latching it here all right you got your gray and black tank uh, like i said before your gray tank's going to be 20 gallons black water is going to be 18 gallons and then you can see all of your other lines over here for your hot water cold water lines and fresh water tank freshwater tank was 30 gallon again 
All right. Keyless entry. I don't like it. It takes about as much time just to stick your key in there and unlock it. We'll go up here on the roof in a minute. All right. So going on the campground side, we got us a power awning. It has auto wind sensing added. So if it gets too windy, it rolls itself back in. Also, all right, I'm back. Had a customer on the lot. I believe this is where we left off. On your campground side, you have the exterior uh, power awning. It has LED light strip at the end of it, really lights it up at night, and then also rolls itself back in when it's too windy outside. You got some outdoor speakers so you can annoy the neighbors at the campground. Get a better angle here. And then over here you have your external propane connection, AC plug-ins, external charging port for the batteries, and underneath you have your front mount and rear mount just like the other side right there all right so i think that about covers it on the outside we'll move on to the inside all right moving on to the inside over here to the right you'll see that this customer selected java as their interior color u-shaped dinette ow hit my head you have java platinum and royal to choose from java is your dark brown uh, looking leather color uh, Royal is going to be like a midnight blue and then uh, Platinum is going to be your light gray kind of similar to this color here We also have the overhead bunk added to this a lot of customers just use that for added storage To the left is where your wet bath is It's a solid one-piece fiberglass shower and bath and toilet Wet bath means that you're showering with the toilet. Dry bath is a separated bath or a shower and toilet. Uh, your dry bath models for Lance truck campers would be your 975, 1062, and 1172. All the others are wet baths. Here's a secret passage to your toilet paper. Keeps it nice and dry. The little secret compartment behind the mirror here for a medicine cabinet. Moving on to the kitchen area, you got your uh, little closet. And if you look to the left here, you'll see that's where I get my numbers for the weights 3,155 pounds wet. So that's your tanks full, propane, all that good stuff. And then uh, 2,866 pounds dry. Little drawer. If you don't like the pull out drawer part, skip it. Underneath, that's an access door for your hot water heater. You have a bypass back there, right here. That supplies water to the water heater. And then up position is going to uh, bypass the water heater for winterizing. So you don't dump six gallons of um, antifreeze down in there all right in the kitchen area you'll have your microwave some storage next to the microwave oven and stovetop three burner stovetop and your oven looks dark oh there we go then you have just a little bit of countertop space, not much, but enough to work with, with a AC plug in there for your Keurig. Sink, separated sink, some people like it, some people don't. A little bit of storage underneath the sink here, and you'll have you another bypass for winterizing right there in the back by the water pump. Then also in your sink area, you have a little bit of space here for, uh, you can put your hand soap there, some spices uh, that you want to get to quick, um, really whatever you want to put over there. 
radio and there is an app for this guy here uh, you can download it to your phone and control it through your phone it's Bluetooth you can put uh, DVDs CDs and stuff like that in there all right so over here is where we're going to control our awning uh, you put it in the on position and then extend you just hit it one time or retract hit it one time and it does the rest awning white and then this little control panel here is where you hit your water pump to turn your water pump on when you want to pull from your fresh water tank water heater on gas or electric uh, this is where you check your battery level fresh water level black water level and gray water level cool moving on oh shoot got us some more uh, storage space every bit of storage in a truck camper counts swing out TV let's see if I can pull that from here yeah there we go. So you can face your TV towards the bed area or face it towards the dinette so you can see it from here. Uh, whatever works best for you. Alright, I know up front everybody's going to want to see this storage. Hang on. There we go. Got you some storage space there. If you don't care to see the storage, just skip it. Pull out drawer. More storage. Get that out of the way. And more storage. Cool. And this is a true camper size mattress. I mean, camper size, queen size mattress. 60 by 80 inches. And another closet. Open it on the wrong side. There we go. Got us another closet. Cool. Well, skylight action so you can see the stars and the moon at night. How romantic. Moving on over here. Looks like we did away with the slide out pantry still. And we are looking at some shelf space. Goes way back in there. It's an awesome amount of storage. I'd probably put like, I don't know chips and maybe towels in there not really sure what i'd do with that i'd find something to put it to use so and then we have our three-way refrigerator works on ac dc or propane i recommend propane and ac otherwise if you're running it on dc you're going to run it uh, run the batteries dry And then our freezer section. Right on. Oh. Here's where we control our AC unit. That controls the eight air conditioner. Low profile, you see, I got enough headroom here. Um, actually, in the camper, you actually have 76 inches of interior height. So that's, that's uh, quite a bit taller than me, actually. But anyways, uh, through this unit right here, this is where you select for the air conditioner or the heat. So this runs this and that. All right, cool. Day and night shades. I skipped them earlier. Not going to now. Day shades. Pretty sweet. Night shades. Even better. All right get them out of the way there we go I'll tell you what that cushion gets in the way don't it there we go all right you can run your window out right here pull that out and just get to work there but you can run these windows out here and you got you a nice screen here to protect you from the bugs getting in I don't know if you can see that in the video. It probably looks like nothing's there. There we go. But there is a bug screen here. Alright. More day and night shades here. And then some storage above. I'll fold that down real quick. 
all right this is what your bunk looks like folded down there is an option to get a bunk pad for these models as well if you actually were going to use it uh, for your children but um this customer doesn't have any so she didn't need a uh, bunk bed restraint and all that good stuff so she's just going to use it for storage which is mighty fine as well all right also the dinette makes into a bed when that is actually converted into a bed that is 36 inches by 72 inches um i'm about 6'1 i think i'd be just fine on there also depending on how much i've had to drink uh, i could probably sleep just about anywhere they say that these campers or the lance 850 is rated to sleep up to five people um i'll let you take a look around and see if you'd like to spend your camping time in here with four other people i for one would not um i'd say two in the bed one down here three's realistic if you had a kid maybe four three and a half i think they call that but uh yeah definitely not five uh anyways another thing that uh people like to know is where they put the batteries you'll have two deep cycle batteries right underneath your uh step up here to the bed area so i answered that i believe i've answered just about all the questions um if i haven't feel free to ask me below in the comments i'll try to answer them but anyways again that was the 2021 lance 850 this one's actually going to a new home today so um congratulations to jan she purchased her uh, lance 850 here we're more than happy that she did so uh let's see go ahead and like the video let youtube know that it might know what i'm talking about might be enjoyable to watch uh comment below like i said if you have any questions that i didn't answer throughout the video uh i know one question is going to be price let's go ahead and get that out of the way all right so typically one of these campers right here they start out around thirty-five thousand. Once you add some decent options to one, I mean, you can get these to retail all the way up to but like 46 to 48, somewhere around there. So it all depends on what options you want in a camper. Um, if you're interested in a Lance 850 or any other camper, just give me a call. 423-892-6272. We'll treat you fair on price and get you what you want. So um, also I can do a walkthrough on options with you um, and explain the differences between options. So just let just give us a call 423-892-6272 if you're interested in a camper or you can email me all my contact information will be below um we've reached over 16,600 subscribers now guys that's awesome we're continuing to grow if you haven't uh, joined this channel or this fish and fun family yet go ahead and do so and i believe there's some sort of bell over to the side that you can hit to stay up to date with my newest videos but anyways Again, this is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun, and we sell Lance Truck Campers and Ranger Boats. Y'all take care, stay safe, and have a great day.